This portion of Utah's Morning News is brought to you by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield. Joining us live in studio is Dr. Mark Hyatt, Executive Medical Director of Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Utah. And doctor, may I ask you, because we're watching what happened in Orlando, how do hospitals respond to trauma on the scale that Orlando had to respond to? You know, Amanda, hospitals are prepared. Um, and they have to be because there's not just shootings like this, these man-made catastrophes. There's also natural ones such as earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, flooding, wildfire uh, fires. There may be mass transportation emergencies such as plane or train crashes. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's these unfortunate man-made disasters such as mass shootings and bombings. And you can even think of infectious outbreaks, Ebola. Oh, that's true, yeah. The outbreak of the flu. And we haven't even named uh, such things or seen such things as radiation, chemical weapons, and biological weapons. So hospitals across our country are aware of these potential catastrophes and do prepare. Many of them have special security officers who have plans in place. You've worked in an emergency room before. T talk to about uh, the, uh, the protocol for how these kinds of mass casualties change a little bit. Sure. And, and the issue there, Brian, is just as in, in ERs for you know conventional type Mm -hmm. tragedies that we all personally have at times in our lives, the same concept of triage applies. You really try to triage and emergently take care of those who need the help the most. And so what typically hospitals will do is set up a hospital command center and determine if the facility should be locked down or given limited access. And then you proceed accordingly. Hmm. So all hospitals of every size train for something of, of this nature, doctor, or only larger hospitals? Um, I think it really depends on the hospital, not so much the size. Most large hospitals do have such plans in place. Uh, the uh, 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 Some of the recent uh, tornadoes that we've had really pointed out that there's a difference in, in terms of preparation. Um, but I think increasingly hospitals do have those plans in place. And I can't even imagine the psychological aspect of being one of these, you know, care workers of having to deal with somebody involved in one of these mass shootings mm -hmm. or whether it's, you know, regardless of what it is, you literally have to put, I guess, your feelings aside. No time to cry right now. You've really got to get to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see a lot of sad cases. There's just no time to let your emotions get in the way of your actions. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this insight to, to what uh, we've seen happening. This portion of Utah's Morning News brought to you by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield on the KSL In-Depth at 15 and 45.